Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Today, we are back at the town hall because I want to have a crack at doing the interior to this. But instead of having a normal sort of town hall inside, I want to have what will eventually be the server hub inside of the town hall. So when you first join when this becomes a server, look, go down, you'll be uh, uh, loaded up inside here. And it'll be nice and pretty and, and town hall-y feeling. Uh, but maybe in here we can have like signs. That if you want to go to the stadium, you can just bloop, click on a sign and it teleports you there. Or if you just want to go to the airport, you can bloop and it'll teleport there. Or if you just want to go into free room, it'll bloop and you'll teleport like, I don't know, right here or something like outside the town hall. And then you can go where you want. It'd be a cool way to do it. Like a, a sort of meeting area where you first load up into the world. I think when you, so I was thinking like when you die, you'll teleport back here again. Um, but I think it'd be better if when you die, you go to the hospital or something like that. Or maybe you can choose if you want to go to the hospital to respawn or the town hall. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to sort of think about it. But I think it'd be cool to, to have like a, a server hub like that. I think it's, it's relatively large. I mean, we're not going to have millions and millions of people on the server anyway. So this should be big enough. Uh, we could divide this up into three rooms as well, I think. We'd have something like... I'll just put down some, some rough guidelines. Like one wall would be there. And one wall would be here. And this central room would be like a nothing room. Uh, there would be sort of, it would just literally be like the meeting place, okay? It'd be nice and empty, no real furniture in the way or, or anything like that. Maybe a nice design on the floor. I was thinking of my face on the floor. That could be quite quite cool way to do it. Um, and maybe at the back here, some like... Um, rules or welcomes uh you know things like that you know your standard sort of stuff uh, and then one side i was thinking about having like a, a meeting room so you'd have a lot of chairs in the middle uh, and uh, like a stage or something like we could have a stage here and then some chairs going back or something like that but i don't know what use that would have actually sort of be i think it'd just be nice for the town hall to have it and on the other side would be like a, a teleport room and uh, I don't know how we do it with signs or with water. Like, like uh, servers do like all kinds of different ways uh, of doing that kind of thing. And I'm not an expert. So we'll have to sort of think a little bit on it. But if we can crack out this sort of central area, I think it'd be pretty cool. Now for the floor, it's going to be really important. I mean, my face is going to be on this. <laughs> so I want it to look good. <laughs> and I'm thinking either a stone or a light wood. And I don't know which one. Like, you could go with an oak wood. Just nice and plain and basic. Maybe it's a little bit too basic. We've got the um, black wool, but it's, it's birch wood. It's a little bit lighter. Um, I think that looks almost like an unvarnished version of oak wood, though. Uh, or we can do something. I don't want to be. I don't want to be busy looking. I don't want to mix in like seven different types of stone or anything weird like that. I want it to be a nice solid block because we're going to then put detail into it. So I don't want it to be to be crazy. Because you could just go with with normal stone brick. Let's let's go between these two. Let's just try stone brick first. Ninety. One. It might be one of the most simplest decisions, but it's. <laughs> It's the most important. Uh, set 98. I'm just going to do this in a way that we can sort of very easily change it all when we need to. My night vision potion is running out. And down here. All these are like the backs of the drainages, I'm assuming. Yeah. It should probably be a darker block, to be fair. That should probably be like a, a black. I think that would probably be better. Yeah, it just looks a little bit mm, deeper. Like it, like it actually goes to like a storm drain or something like that. Okay, anyway. So stone is actually working really well against the bricks. That's actually quite smart. But let's just grab a section here, like a nice big section. So we'll go from there to here. And what number is this? 35, 15. If I just stand looking this way, we'll replace 98 with 35, 15. And that would be birch wood. 
it's a little bit more of a lighter it's a bit more of a lift I think I prefer the birch I think I prefer the lighter look maybe we'll do a stone around my face so let's find let's find the middle point if we just change all these up make sure we don't miss nothing and do it all properly as we go uh, why does that have a bit on that side and that side but this side doesn't uh oh ah that's nope something's not symmetrical here <laughs> hang on it, it, it's this bit this bit like see that's three blocks wide and this bit is four blocks wide okay it's fine look it goes like that okay no issues <laughs> now it's all good Oh, wait, anyway, what was I saying? What, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, circle in the middle. So, we want some blocks here. We're going to want uh, clay for the skin tone. You know, I think the orange is pretty good for the beard, actually. The yellow is probably good. If we can keep it all clay, that would be fantastic. Green for the eyes. Um, snow for the whites of the eyes. And that should be good, right? so we want do we have a middle point we don't is that a good thing i think that's a good thing isn't it yeah i think for once not having a middle point is a good thing and we want it to be roughly in the middle so let's just go here that looks to be about the middle and in the middle of my face it should be orange right orange and then my mouth goes underneath here I should really be able to do this off by heart now. I mean, like five years of using this skin <laughs> should be plenty. But uh, still don't really know it. Uh-huh. And then... That goes there and there. It's already looking like me. I don't know if it even goes there. If 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 I have that, or does it? Is it orange there? Oh no, it's, it's yellow there. So my crown goes along here, and then my crown is for four, and then two, and then. So that's uh, like a two D ver. <laughs> that's like a two D version of my face. It could probably be shifted that way by one. That's five blocks, oops, five blocks behind my head. And that would be, yeah, it should really come, oops, it should really come forward by one. Hold on. <laughs> Cut. Paste. Ooh, hang on. I think I shifted it left by one as well then, didn't I? Cut. Paste. That's better. Much better. Yeah, I must. Have, I think I shifted it right by one then. Okay, so we've got the face in there. It's nicely in line with the door. It's nicely in line sort of front to back now. Perfect. Uh, now we could, if we wanted to, drop this down and put it behind glass or something like that. Or even invisible blocks. And that way you could make it a little bit more 3D. Don't know. Let's stand. No, I can't. I can't make a circle. What we're going to do is I want to make a stone stone circle that goes around this. So we're going to have to sort of make it ourselves. That'll be three blocks and then that. Perfect. So that's going to be six blocks because it needs to be an even number. And three there and there. And then three. And then just make the circle. Nice and simple. Gentle curves. 
Now, you'd want to have this part, like this, this middle part of the circle here, a little bit half slab lower, basically. So let's just take out this middle. I think I want a balcony around here as well. I think the ceiling in here is like a little bit too high to leave sort of blank or just to put like a ceiling onto. So I think we're going to need some kind of, of balcony in here, some way to get onto it as well. It'd be a cool, uh, a cool way to get up there. Maybe it's like a little hidden secret spot and you got to use some like parkour skills to get up there or something like that. Slab. So with these, I'm thinking something like maybe, uh, maybe all that in fact. there to there replace air with 44 you see that could work maybe putting some stairs around here would be better as well just smooth it off I think I'm not very good at like building like hub stuff because we, I've never really done it before like some some server hubs look absolutely amazing but uh, I don't know we're we're giving it a crack might take an episode or two along here I think we're doing all right so far it's early stages yet like that yeah you know, I like this, but I still think the whole idea of, of lowering the whole lot, even the circle, down by like two blocks and then putting glass on top would just be smarter. Let's give that a go. So I'm going to take the whole circle and I'm going to cut and I'm going to go down like two blocks. <laughs> yeah um set there maybe it's a little low it's a little low undo undo paste and then we'll take all of this away nope redo Okay, yeah, 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 good, good, good. Uh, this will... This is like this block, okay? So it's like the circle going all the way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then we can make this a little bit thicker in the spot. So we can like make the beard more pronounced. And the crown more pronounced. Like that. It just makes it pop, doesn't it? That makes the whole thing pop. And then on the top here, you then make it glass. Now, I know we've got a circle to, to do, but I'll just show you. We'll just go from there to there. Replace air with glass. You see, now I've got a, I've changed my glass texture to be like a little... Well, not to have the borders. So we could go um, undo with 160 which would be white stained glass well panes at least uh, but as you can see if it was blocks you wouldn't be able to see through it very well anyway let's have a look though what, what number is stained glass 95 you know it's not the worst thing in the world but i think i prefer nope not that I think I prefer just the glass. You see? Flesh. Oh, maybe some glowstone in there. That could work as well. But anyway, 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 that's like a later thing. Okay, let me get the circle done. I'll be back. Okay, I went through a couple of different designs, but I think I've come up with a little colour scheme that works quite well. It looks nice, a little bit of red going around the bottom and the white on top, but then it also ties in with my sort of red and white coat that we've got color scheme wise I think it all blends in quite well I've then put oh I used the stairs around the top here 
just to uh, give a little bit of a drop on this. You can't fall down or nothing like that, you see. So you, you can't sort of fall down the little gap. But I think that is a really cool way to just sort of spawn into a place, hey? I, if he, if he, ow, hit my elbow. <laughs> it feels pretty good. Okay, now we need to hide up some of these, these bits that we don't want to see. And I don't know really the best way to do it. Maybe we make this a little bit of a, a step up. Like this. And then we get some stairs. Maybe we stick with the, the quartz stairs. You've got to have a bit, a bit of quartz in a, in a, in a, like this. Quartz is always a fancy block, you see. So that works. And then we could have something like this just to design a little bit of a, 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 a pillar sort of thing there. Pillars always work nice. So we have that. And then these. Okay, that works out really well. Then a balcony area, or let's put these walls up. Let's, how big do we want the doors to be? We want them to be relatively large doors, don't we? We could go like four blocks in from that side, and then excluding this part here, like starting here, one, two, three, four, that could be the size of the door. Oops, splash. And I want to go to the same height as, re as that, which I think we're on now, aren't we? That's going to sort of be the, the ceiling height. Okay. A little bit of uh, this going on. Maybe a little bit of that. I like that. That's a nice gentle arch going on there. And then we want the same thing on this side. So we wanted um, four blocks in. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then something like one, two, three, four. Six, oh, I tell you what, though. If we use this as the sort of middle point, it goes from there, then we need to do it here instead. And then the, and then the doors are in line with the circle. That makes things a lot easier. If we can use, like, the circle to guide us uh, as, like, a guide for the... Uh, the whole building, uh, it'll all blend in nicely. It'll, it'll all sort of fit together. Like that. And like this. Okay. Now, balcony around the top here. Uh, for the moment, we'll have it inaccessible, and then we'll eventually, we'll put like a way up to it. Uh, let's go with a slightly darker wood than the, the spruce, uh, than the, um, the birch down there and I think I want to have it at this height I think we want to have it three blocks either three blocks as the platform to stand on or three blocks total because we're gonna to have to have some kind of hmm. now we're gonna go with that uh, we're gonna to have to have some kind of sort of edging on it yeah um, Logs is a little bit old school. It's a little bit too old for this building. This is a, a, a more brick building. So maybe we go with a clay instead. A brown clay could work, actually. Goes well with the wood as well. I don't want to go with the oak, the, like, like actual barked wood like like these because it, it looks a little bit farmy maybe a little bit too old a little bit medieval that is a little bit cleaner with no texture on it but then if we slab it above and below it should pull it a little bit more modernized or, or, or slab be um, no not with that one maybe with white maybe with the quartz brown and white go very well together anyway looks like um chocolate ice cream and then on top, maybe uh, stained glass, white stained glass. Does the same job as this white slab underneath it, but still, again, is a little bit more modern than a fence or something like that. Okay, we've got like a little drop back on here. Could do something like, uh, let me move that in by one, like this. It's 
quite nicely sort of put in the corner. And then you'd have another one like that. That's quite nice, hey? That corner one's a little bit funky. Maybe it should be like this and we shove everything this way by one. I'll, I'll get the night vision potion back again in a second. Hold on. And we just have like two there instead. I think that probably, it just looks a little bit better. So then, I don't think I want to drop it back here. I think we keep it as a straight shot. And then, down here. Man, this is a long episode. i got a feeling. Why, why do these episodes always go on so long, man? I get so caught up with everything. Especially with interiors. I need to get faster at them. I need to do more interiors so I can I can just get faster at doing them. Get faster at thinking about what I want and how I want it to go. With, with like doing the outsides, I don't really have too much of a problem anymore. But the insides, I don't know. I need that just an extra sort of couple of minutes to, to think out my ideas. It's not a bad thing. But the video wise, you I really should be a little bit quicker. <laughs> okay. And this one here. We still need to do something with the ceiling here. Obviously we can't leave it just blank how it is now. Um but I think now we could we could put like a, a, a lower ceiling down and it won't look so bad. I think it would really help. That goes along here. This is like the perfect spot for like some really nice tall plants or something like that. Uh, hopefully, I would really like it if you could see them from the um, from the ground floor. So you'd you'd sort of yeah. So you could see like the plants. That's actually looking pretty nice. So have it like that one. Oops. And that one. It's like modern beams, quartz modern beams. I should really go from here because I don't know if it's going to work out the right. Yeah, we're one block out. That's not a problem. One block I'm not that bothered with. See, ooh, that's not even, that's not even the middle. <laughs> that's better. That's good. Now it's all symmetrical. And that one. Okay, good. I like it. Didn't get anywhere near as much done as I wanted to today, but we're in a good position for next episode. Um, I don't know if I like the... I like the quartz going along. I don't know if I like the quartz going down it from this angle. Maybe we change up to another block. We can't do it this episode, though. I really like this. This is really cool. Maybe some glowstone in around the sides at the red part. Make it glow up at night when we're not using an eye vision potion. Got to put actual lighting down in here. Ceiling on. Still a lot of work. But it's a really good start. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!